Hey guys, how's it going? Boosty here, and after having my monitor for about a year, I realized that one, it wasn't running at 144Hz, and I'm referring to the monitor in the title, the ASUS VG248QE. And today we're going to really go through how to get the proper um, color settings and the most out of this monitor. And we'll start with number one, let's, let's before we do that, let's go through and check to see if we are in fact running 144 hertz refresh rate. And the problem was that I was running an HDMI cable and the maximum supported refresh rate across an HDMI cable for this monitor is 60 hertz. So we're now in purchased myself a display port cable and plugged it into my 1070 and now I'm running 144 hertz just fine. And I have to say it's beautiful. So that's the first thing you want to do. Is make sure when you come in here it's going to be 144 hertz out of the selected options. Right? That's the first thing. And and to get to that, sorry, I didn't I kind of um skimmed through that. You're just gonna right click right click and go to the AMD or the excuse me, the NVIDIA control panel. Um and that will pull up the refresh rate. Now the second thing we're gonna do and, and this link is in the description to a Reddit um thread um with the proper settings and everything that I use to set up this monitor. So Right here, the first things you're going to need to do are just the um, the OSD settings, and they're going to be um, toggled in this menu here. I'll just show you real quick. Um, if you have any questions about that part, just comment below. But these are going to be those quick settings right here that you're going to want to use. Next part. Um, and then, and again, this link will be in the description. You're going to want to use PC monitors, recommended o OSD settings, right? With the ICC profile loaded. So the next part of this video is going to be lo to load a custom ICC profile. And um, it's right here. So if you have an NVIDIA chipset, um, so any of the 1070 cards or 970 cards um, or etc any of those chipsets you're going to want to download this right here and you just click on that and it's going to download i've already downloaded it so i, I won't do that all right so and then you're going to want to save it or bring it to your desktop first things we're going to do if you're on windows 10 if you're on any other windows just go and um, get to the control panel and um but if you're on windows 10 you can just search um change resolution and this will come up right here change the screen resolution and we'll click on that once this loads, we're going to go down to the bottom corner under color management. We're going to click on color management. Now this screen is going to come up and this is the important screen. So initially, this box right here will not be checked and you need to check it. This needs to have a checkbox in it. Use my settings for this device and that's going to load this color profile here that we've, that we've got for ourselves. So next, we're going to click add. And from here, it's just going to have all this information. This doesn't matter. You're just going to go to Browse. You're going to go down on your desktop, and you're going to select this color profile that we just downloaded. And you're going to click Add. Now it's going to set up right here. And um, it's already set to default. That's what you want. And it's going to be for this display um, and this graphics card. Next, you're going to click Advanced. Under the advanced, you're going to go down to this part down here and click change system defaults. You're going to click that. This is kind of a weird inception um, design for them to do this right now, but um, you're then going to go to advanced again. And you're going to click this box here, used windows display calibration. Click that in and you can see it changed to the color profile right away. You're going to click close and close and you're done and that's it if you have any questions about it there's more information and and written guides um for those who like the the written steps on that on this reddit website um you can go to tom's hardware gaming blah blah, blah and, cons and and read about all the things all of the tests that they did and, and everything else but what's important is that you grab these settings here um with the icc profile loaded because they're meant to go with that profile and then it's important that you grab the proper profile for either the AMD or NVIDIA card. And um, 
Again, like, comment, and subscribe um, for more content, and comment below if you have any problems. I answer probably 98% of the comments on my channel. Thanks, guys. Boosty out.